Hey everyone, Dr. Ashley here from Team Feldman PT and Performance. As always, thanks so much for tuning in. Well, are you a male who's experiencing things such as low energy, fatigue, decreased morning erections, or even just a decreased libido? Well, you need to listen up. This episode is simply about the male athlete triad and recognizing signs of low energy availability in the male athlete. So if this sounds like you, or if you know someone like this, if you're a coach or a parent, listen up. Before I get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And as always, if you have any questions about anything I'm talking about, don't hesitate to put them in the comments section below. But I am super excited for all of you men out there because there is finally a term for energy deficiency in men or low energy availability in men. And what is it? It's called the male athlete triad. And might sound familiar because I'm sure you've heard about the female athlete triad, a phenomenon in women that occurs with low energy availability that's been studied for close to three decades. Well, it's finally your turn and I'm super excited to talk about it. The reason being, I feel like it's been something that has been needed for a very long time. We finally have some distinctive factors that make it seem as if we know how to look for energy availability in the male athlete and it might give you a little bit more insight as to how to monitor yourself. So let's talk about those a little bit more. So guys, what are the signs and symptoms of low energy availability in the male athlete? Well, the two that I like to start off most frequently are low libido and decreased morning erections. These things are often chalked off to something else, but you need to think about it, especially if you might be fatigued all the time. Fatigue and exhaustion are also at the forefront of low energy availability, as well as chronic illness and chronic injury. You may also need to look out for a decrease in facial hair growth and decreased need to shave, that, believe it or not, is also a sign. The other things that I often also discuss are mood swings, okay, and also a new diagnosis of or an old diagnosis of a stress fracture or bone stress injury. All of these things are things to be on the lookout, especially if you feel as if you're dealing with low energy or not enough fuel to really do what you want to do. Although you think you may be able to live with some of the signs and symptoms of low energy availability, what you have to remember, it's only one part of the triad. There are two other parts that are super important that you know, mainly because you don't want to experience them. Just as in the female athlete, low energy availability can affect both reproductive health and bone health in male athletes. So basically what happens if you're fueling rest and recovery strategies strategies are not adequate. Basically, your brain stops producing or stops secreting essential sex hormones, such as testosterone and luteinizing hormone. That can then affect things such as your sperm production. And as I've already talked about, it may also impact your ability to maintain an erection, get an erection, or decrease your libido, okay? And those are things you don't want to experience. The other thing that has also been proven in research is that low energy availability can affect bone health in men. We have seen stress fractures, we have seen osteoporosis and osteopenia in certain athletes, especially those requiring, requiring weight restrictions or things such as endurance athletes, climbers, rowers, swimmers, activities that don't necessarily require a ton of weight bearing. We see less of this in our power athletes, our field athletes, our multi-directional athletes, just because the way the body moves. So make sure that you are monitoring yourself for signs and symptoms of energy deficiency. The reason being is you don't want to end up with any reproductive or bone health impairments. And make sure that you are talking to individuals if you are experiencing any of these symptoms. If you do experience any type of energy deficiency symptoms, make sure that you do have a good care team. Make sure that you have a sports psychologist, a sports dietitian who is well versed in low energy availability, the, a physiotherapist or a physical therapist in case you are experiencing injury and a sports medicine, sports medicine or your primary care physician should also be there as well. So as always, if you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to ask and I'll be back with something more soon.